Hello everyone and welcome to this first episode of the Burgundians campaign on my channel, Penpoint Games. I, I Luckily, we have uh, mod tools available again on Steam Workshop. So I'm going to be using a couple of mods uh, to start out the campaign. The most noticeable ones are going to be a map mod. Uh, actually, there's two of them. Two parts, one works in combat and one works uh, on the campaign map so you can zoom in and out farther um, using a mod uh, called more meaningful seasons which makes it so there's a lot more influence uh, that a season has on your faction as far as public order uh, morale for the troops growth and food um, gain from harvesting and uh, 12 yeah, 12 turns per year is one of the other mods. It might be one more, but I'm not remembering it. Yeah, and because of because of that um, more meaningful seasons, that's going to add more difficulty to the game. So I'm going to start, I'm going to play this on normal difficulty um, because of the added difficulty from that mod. And uh, essentially the game difficulty settings doesn't actually make the AI much harder. It only inhibits or, or makes it um, so your bonuses are not as good as as a player. So you'll you'll have um, things like public order will be worse because you're playing on a higher difficulty, and uh, your morale for the troops would be worse. And of course, the uh, combat difficulty too. It's 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 the same thing. It's just it just gives the AI more bonuses and and more money. The AI gets a ton more money. So I want to play on a level, sort of a level playing field where if I get the same money as the AI and um, have the same sort of sort of chances to do everything, then it's just it's just like playing a multiplayer game um, against a person that, you know, just brings people to the field and fights and conquers and so on. It's not the same thing, but kind of cool and I uh, obviously as you know we are choosing the um, Burgundians because of a faction vote we had so uh, here we go we're gonna skip over the uh, next sort of introduction because I'm, I'm sure everybody's seen that video to begin with after many years spent wandering the shores and islands of the north your people have finally found a land of their own. The sting of the icy wind and the bite of the dark sea are still fresh in your memory and have strengthened your determination to overcome the hostile Varinians. Securing the support of the neighboring Rugians would surely tip the balance in your favor. However, your new land is infertile and resists cultivation. By sending an enterprising general south, you may secure lands left vacant in the turmoil. A seed sown in such fertile soil may yet grow into a great city, and with care, an empire. So there we have it. I skipped over the initial sort of uh, introduction video for starting a campaign, but we let I let the um, sort of introduction of the Burgundians. Uh, play in the Burgundians are a nation, a uh, tribe of Germanic types that come from Scandinavia. So they're very close, related historically, you can say, to uh, the other North uh, North tribes, Norsemen, the Danes and Norwegians and so on. Uh, let's start a military technology, and uh, we're gonna look at diplomacy. We can trade with the Lugans, which you know we should. We can Greetings. probably. Looks like that's high chance, so they accepted. And we're already trading with the Rugians. The Rugians don't have a land that is part of our, um, you know, same province region here. Province, yeah. Province. The region is the city. Um, oh, I forgot about one mod. It is the. Um, it's made by Dresden and it gives the player, me and you, if you choose well, to install it, 
it gives you all the options for diplomacy and for um, conquest so like if you go fight somebody at, at their city you can occupy it or uh, make it a strappy or um, some stuff like that and uh, with same same blood available I can also do confederacies so uh, you know they probably won't Welcome, want friend. to confederate right now but uh, later on I, I might choose to um, I have little gain in wasting the day on you what you say had better please my yeah. ears so uh, they're not gonna confederate the the guys that I'm fighting with so I think we're gonna we're gonna do two things we're gonna move our armies close and attack them as soon as we can and we're gonna spend some of that money to upgrade our uh, torp into a village it's gonna give us public order and growth here which we can use uh, since our public order is at zero and we're getting seven but if we're moving that army out it's gonna be um, let's see we can't issue an edict because we don't have a governor so let's make somebody a governor how about this 20 year old uh, statesman he can be a governor uh, he can also probably yeah he can be a companion our faction heir is 23 let's make him a companion too and then looks like this guy is 27 Gundomar and uh, he cannot be a companion because he doesn't have influence but he is a general I'm, I'm wondering why he's not the heir and he is don't know our high king is Jebica and uh, Gisler am I saying that correctly that's our heir he needs a wife and Mr. Gunther needs a wife Wolfhard pretty cool name let's make him a companion too all right um, let's move these guys in closer to see what's going on and let's recruit some units I think we can get a couple of yeah we have we need the spears for a front line we only have one melee unit here and we're gonna get a hurdler just like that and then um, here so we have two hurdlers we have two barbs commissioners I guess I could get another levy and I'll move them in close and attack next time so uh, let's end turn Ooh, I forgot I I put a governor in to issue a uh, edict and then I never did that so let's go with something that's okay public order there research res okay so this is gonna be yeah that's gonna be public order bonus I need that so if all goes well we'll um, take over Rugion there from Varinians I think that was their name and we'll cover up all the important facts of the first episode um, we went over the history of the tribe a little bit uh, and we're gonna try to get a foothold and secure more land possibly have a fight all our offices were secured we have the judgment of Woden issued in the province looks like they are also recruiting our units so uh, let's take our faction leader to there and then attack with the screams of the wind controlled by Gundamar Ooh, what was the name of the wolves of war that's good I like these names oh my goodness are you, are you serious about that oh I'm not in range with this okay Let's get in range. That's more like it. Uh, but we could spend some money on a couple of mercenaries. So let's see. 
Dramatic Warband is good. A bow unit? Hmm. Probably not. Uh, though they have fire, they can shoot fire. That's good. Uh, we can get this mounted warband as well. And I think it's a skirmisher. That is skirmisher. Yeah, nice skirmisher. Um, you know what? Let's get them too. We have the money. We're spending half of our money there on mercenaries, but that's gonna give us. Oops. That's gonna give us uh, more of an advantage, and so we're gonna take our screams of the wind and point them at the Varinians in Rugion. I'm trying to say something here, and the Wolves of War are following behind. We actually have war warhounds, uh, four units of warhounds. Probably won't keep them for um, very long. Uh, they, they can be kind of cool. They can be kind of cool. It's nice to see them jump in and, and chew some people up. So they got themselves some uh, calves that I need to worry about. But it should be okay. I outnumbered them. It's raining. Let's hope we don't have rain. Yes, dry. Cool. Start. Start the deployment. So I'm gonna um, show off my uh, camera so I can zoom out this far. Normally I don't think you can zoom out that far, but zooming in, um, it's something else. You can zoom in at foot level, so you know you can totally get a good look at that woman screaming and banging her axe um, and all the dogs. So yeah, look at this road. This is pretty cool. Let's, okay, let's not ride the road. Let's let's start a fight. That's why we're here. So we have reinforcements coming from there. That's not bad. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put. Uh, let's put all these in a group. Place them here, and we're gonna bring the bow and the hurler behind them. Put them in a group, and we'll probably do flaming shot. Um. Okay, and then I have. I have my general. He could be over there. I'm, I'm trying to. Okay, so. Both of you guys. Both of you guys here. Uh, Wolfhounds in the center. Uh, possibly need to. We need to look like like we're coming from both directions, and we are gonna come from both directions. Uh, it's just that we uh, we're gonna have to wait for um, that other army to approach. So uh, we're gonna. Speed up a little bit. Look at all the civilians running away. Poor dudes. Alright, so bring all these guys here. The enemy approaches. I don't think they're actually gonna approach approach. So we'll have a contingency coming in this way. And let's have that number. I have the number six because I want whatever. Okay, and then we have hurlers. 
seven. These guys can support. And this guy can be together with this guys. I think. Come on, dogs. Oh, jeez. Hello. Got um, a little bit blindsided there by some boats. <laughs> okay, so when they said the enemy approaches, I that actually was happening. Uh, it wasn't just a joke. So uh, apologies for not paying attention. Ruining my uh, my game here by a, a little bit. Okay, you guys are gonna have to come out that way, and okay, you guys seriously, you get shot up over there. Let's go approach. And you guys approach there. And you guys need to go with them. And as soon as these guys make a move, uh, we're gonna bring hounds out here. And we're gonna bring... We're gonna do with that guy, but we're gonna bring these guys in as soon as these guys make a move. Just sort of YOLO charge in there. They have one unit of spears and some dramatic warband that I'm kind of worried about. Uh, but uh, no. Loose, let loose the goose. Ready and eager. All right, what are you guys doing? Enemy units have been wrapped. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. Okay, where is my hounds? Alright, we're gonna um, send in the hounds to over here. And Mr. Steady. And I don't know why you guys are not just going in now, but that's okay. We got to tell him to go in. Arian, move out! The men are broken and running for their lives. Those guys are just not moving there. Let's go in.
Oh, jeez. So I gotta get them. A unit is running from the enemy. Ah, precious. All right. The enemy are losing ground. Go in, go in, go in. All right, uh, you guys. Get to general and you guys attack out here, except for maybe you guys can get those guys. Alright, we need this guy. Uh, this is a pretty cool spot. What's going on here? Look at this. Wow. That's neat. Yep. I think I like this. <laughs> Sweet. Might even use that for the, my uh, intro screen, since I haven't really decided what to use. A unit has used all available ammunition. But it needs to have my uh, flag on it, does it? <laughs> I can't really use it. It's got somebody else's flag. I missed that charge, but that looked pretty vicious. Victory. This is your day. All right. There we have it, guys. Yay. We only lost 1,500. <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. Shouldn't have lost that much. Smack. Blech. Whoa, it didn't even wait for me to like see what happened. Um, I could loot and occupy, but instability, I don't want instability, so we want unit replenish replenishment and stability. Sweet. So we're gonna get our uh, faction leader back to the house, the home, the capital. I wish my capital. Is there a way to change your capital? Have you guys have you guys seen a way to change the capital? If so, please let me know. Um, yeah, I don't like paying, or sorry, I don't like um, I don't like having a, a capital city where I don't want it. Like, why can't I just be like, today we declare that this other city is my capital. You know what I mean? The provincial capital, does it automatically become your capital once you, once you take it? Because that, I don't think that was the case as far as I know. If it is, then I'll find out. Let's look at diplomacy now. We should be able to trade with some people. Um, definitely want to trade with everybody, so. Well met, friend. Sit and let Let's see what the angles trade. Well met, friend. Sit and let your words move. They do not want to trade. The Geats. Greetings, friend. 
We will speak to get the kids accept the youths. The guards will have me listen to you, but do not pass. Uh, Saxons, greetings to you. I trust you come with. Okay, so that's actually really helping our well, economy, I think. Sit and let your words move me to anger or agreement. I can probably. I can probably offer them something so they can accept. No, they will not accept even that. So we are training with two, four, five, six, seven nations, which should give us a good trade income 900 from trade. Uh, so we're making a bit of money. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So, um, let's see. Our uh, goal is to survive until spring 400. Um, by that time, we can sack three different settlements to get extra cash. We can uh, research the following technology to get extra cash. We can control the following settlement by ownership or tributary states, belts. Whatever belts is over there, okay. Uh, then we can um, maintain a total of barb six barbed lancers and um, defeat this faction by capturing and raising its last remaining settlement. And we've done that because we just took that town from the variants. So I think we're. I think we're in good shape so far. Uh, let's go through. Wait, wait, over here, over here. Let's go through a turn's end to see what happens. Um, Ready for Gundamar has leveled up, so that's good. Uh, so he is. What is this? Why, why do we have this? Maybe because authority is low. We're all on defending, melee. I want to get him ammunition and make him a hunter. Cunning won't help too much. Authorities over here. Huh. This gives him zeal. Yeah, let's just do that. Since we have to get it to get the authority. Okay. Here's the turn end. Let's see what we can do. Or what happens. And yeah, I I would say this is successful. Um I was, I was gonna say something smart, but I totally forgot. <laughs> uh yeah, we're gonna probably end this episode uh, right after the um uh, events of the turn's end. And um it's gonna tell us that variants were destroyed and that we finished our development in technology. Um, let's, let's get the, let's get the upkeep. That's going to help us three turns for that. So back to us, Kalis for you. Hi King. What's your name again? Jebika. Hi King Jebika. Well the future is bright, you guys. We had a successful first episode. We um took over the region called Rujin. And um Yeah, we are trading with a bunch of people, including all of the north uh the northern tribes, the Viking tribes I should say. And it's it's a 
pretty good start and hopefully you come back for the next episode to see what happens next. I do appreciate any kind of support you guys can leave me, so a like or a comment really helps. And um, that's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.